Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Alan Anthony from Phone Tech at Work, and today we have another case review for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. Shout out to Uno Nice, who's always commenting. But this is a case that I found on Amazon for $18. It comes from a company called Ocean's Edge. They're all reusing the same cases over and over, but I really like the color of this. It does have like that brown leather type of feel to it. So this is another case. And this is another one for your Samsung Z Fold 2. So let's start the video, show you what I'm talking about. Pow. All right guys, so here is another case for your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. Let's put the Z Fold 2 to the side. Now, if you guys saw my last video of the speaking case, you guys were roasting me. Roasting me in the comments because my lights were low because of the black background. But now, I put every light on in this room so you guys can stop flaming me. But here you go, guys. This is the brown leather case. Let's see how it really feels. Does it feel how it looks? Let's see. Uh, let's do a smell test. Nah, it's okay. It feels a little bit cheap. Can't front on that on the inside. Typical Z Fold 2 type of feeling. Plastic, -y, plastic all the way around. All right, not too cheap when it comes to the flex. This one's a little bit not bad either. Definitely not as bad as the case mate case. So if you guys want to see the case mate case, I actually still have it. Um, definitely one of the worst cases ever. But onto the journey but the best one so far is this speaking case this one has a nice grip to it so i definitely recommend that one off the bat so let's just take off the speaking case and let's see how easy it is to take it off it should be a little bit more tougher because it definitely grips on very well all right the front should be a little bit less difficult all right so let's clean this up and we'll be right back all right so let's put it on the phone see what it looks like definitely looks nice I think it looks better than a lot of the other cases but just probably doesn't feel as good as the speaker one because the speaker one had a nice little grip to it but this one looks way cooler looks more business so let's just put that to the side put that over here and let's pop on the top now this top definitely looks like it will be a problem when it comes to side gestures on this side probably will be a little bit better when you swipe up or when you swipe from that one. But this is the case itself. You guys, let me know what you guys think about it. Definitely when it's flexed out, it does look pretty cool. Let's see about the movement on the front. Okay, so this is definitely going to be a no-no when it comes to the front. Now, when I was watching Gadget Goddess's video, she definitely showcased the fact that you could just take the top from the Spigen and just put that right on there. Just like so, so it doesn't move as much. But it seems like these case companies all have a problem with the front. And a lot of people in the comments have been saying in my comments literally is that the front wasn't, it's not made for cases. So that's the reason why Samsung did not make one for the front. They only did it for the back. But this is the one that comes. Let's see how the fingerprint scanner is. Now it does hit this side just a little bit. So if you guys are watching this video, actually makes cases make this a little bit slimmer so you can access your fingerprint scanner with no issues for $18 I think it's worth it just because it looks nice but definitely will have a problem when it comes to swiping swipe gestures you have to swipe from here but when you're in like browser it might be a little bit different but let's go into Twitter all right so that's no issue let's see if you could go back all right, so if you guys can follow me on Twitter as well, but uh, this is an okay case. It seems like it, w it will probably slide off in my pocket, just like so, just with ease. But I definitely like the look of it in the back. I can't front. I think it looks pretty cool. Let's see about that lip action. All right, very minimal, nothing crazy. Let's see how the lip action is for the front. All right, let me close that out. How it is for the front? A little bit. Not that much, but uh, definitely something that you can actually lay flat down. So it's nice and open on the bottom when it comes to the cutouts. 
and it's open on the sides as well. So if you guys want to pick this case up, let me know down in the comments below. I will have a link in the description. A little bit of lip action for the camera. Not too much, nothing crazy. Uh, but I would definitely try to mix match this with a couple of other ones, especially the one that's from um, Spigen. I definitely like the look of this with the Spigen one. So this definitely will be the look that I will be rocking for my Z Fold 2. So if you guys like this video, hit it with a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And follow Phone Tech at Work for more videos like this of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 and the spec, not the spec, but the case journey. Uh, Spec should probably make a case for this, but peace and love. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.